right, buenos dias, mis amigos. All right, the video number two, all right, and for this day. And what I want to play a little uh, clip of um, these guys. I have no idea who any of these guys are. But I want to take this opportunity to show you what people say today and then what the Bible says and how the Bible has said it before these men have spoken it. It's incredible. It's incredible. This one first. This one here is going to be the timing. Let's see. It says Martin Asari fails again. Are the time texts based on God's foreknowledge? Let's play this. Uh, I want to ask Martin a question. And then, Jeff, you can chime in if you want. Martin, so let me ask you this. I'm just like, again, I'm just stirring things up. Um, so okay. the time text could the time text be based on God's foreknowledge? Um, it always has to be based on God's foreknowledge because God's foreknowledge is based on his decree. Okay, God determined okay. that so he said, so, okay, okay, let me, let me, let me follow up now. Let me follow up now. So if it's based on his foreknowledge, then he said he was coming soon because he knew that Christ was coming soon. He knew that according to how he defined what soon is, that's when Christ will come. But he said to the original... To the original audience, see? Jesus said he was coming back soon to the original audience... So, therefore, he must have already came back. No, 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 no. Uh, you have to be stupid on purpose. This stupid as stupid gets. And... Unfortunately, that's the world that we're living in. Is people are both stupid and stupid on purpose. All right? And they're driven by something that they're hiding. Therefore, you don't always see what motivates them. All right, so this idea, well, Jesus said he's coming back soon, so that must be... You know, 15 minutes. You know, how do you define soon? You know, people love to quote Second Timothy three. Love it. Just love it when they are teaching false things. Oh, see, a thousand years. Now, you know, they really quickly, without thought go through this verse and say that well a thousand years that means Jesus reigns a thousand years because it says right there a thousand years so that means you know that's how stupid people are not understanding what's being written The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. As some men count slackness. So, this man is counting slackness as, well, Jesus said he was coming back soon, so it must have been in his life in their lifetime or whatever I can't make any sense of it because clearly Jesus has not come back and you got to be just dumber dumber than dog do and you got to be conflicted every single day and I don't know how you have the Spirit of God in you and teach such nonsense Jesus is asked specifically what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world and the sign of his coming is the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken and his coming will be in the clouds of heaven and that is the end 
of the world. That's it. It's not rocket science. And then therefore, when it's the end of the world, judgment is made. Those that are saved are resurrected into eternal life. Those who are not saved are thrown into the fire and burned. The second death. Very simple. Very simple. Very simple. Now these guys, this guy in particular, wants to make the claim, well, Jesus has already come. All right, so if Jesus has already come, then the resurrection has already happened. Because when Jesus comes... The angels gather together the elect. That's the resurrection. All right, and therefore, if you understand that, then understand this. Second Timothy two, verse eighteen. Who concerning the truth have erred? saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrow the faith of some. That's what these guys are doing. That's why it's so dangerous, wicked, and evil. And that's why these people need to be called out. And I'm, I'm, I'm imploring with you. I'm a, you know, hey, look, just think. That's it. Just think. Think about what they're saying and then compare that with what the scripture says. Who are you going to believe? The word of man or the word of God? 